Javadoc. Let's talk about reading and writing your own Javadoc documentation. So let's first talk about reading. Uh, as you've seen when we in Eclipse, when we hover over, say, a string, it'll give us the Javadoc documentation for that string. If I go over here, it tells me the string class represents, etc. It tells me about the string class. When I hover over here, I'm going to get these other three little icons. This first one says show in javadoc view so that if I click there that's going to open up this little window uh, with the javadoc so I can have my code and the javadoc in a different in a window which is useful. Um, when I move the cursor it changes. So if I move my cursor over to person it will change that. So that's very nice if you want to see your javadoc separately rather than uh, as the little pop-up window. And the other thing is uh, if I hover and I click this one is opens the declaration so that's going to try to open the source code that defines the Java string. If I click on that it's going to tell me you know source not found because I, I haven't downloaded and attached it, attached the source code for Java itself uh, which wouldn't be very useful. So you know for a beginner so we're not going to do that uh, what we are, what you will find useful at the beginning is this third button here. This open attached Javadoc in browser. When I click on that, it's going to open the little web browser within Eclipse and it's going to show me the string class and all the documentation. So this is the Javadoc jo documentation for the string class that comes built in. You can see it tells me the string class represents, etc. Tells me everything about the string class how to use it and if you scroll down you see the constructors and then all the different methods the compared to method uh, ends with method if I say click on the ends with method then it'll take me to the actual definition says of what the ends with method does etc so this is a very useful tab to have open um, in this case for the string class so when you know you're looking to do something with the string, you don't know what all the methods are. This is it. This is all. These are all the methods for a string. You should definitely go over them once and read all of them. You know, just skim over, try to remember what they all do. Uh, there's fun stuff like splits with regular expressions, which is a little more complicated, but just read them all so that you are aware of what they do. Trim is very nice, it comes in handy a lot. Uh, so close that. Um, now, so that's how we read existing Javadoc documentation. Let's say you want to create your own Javadoc for uh, the class person. So I have a little class person here It has three data members, name, mother, and father. Um, I'm gonna create some get and set methods for it. So I go to source, generate getter setters, select all, hit OK, and I created all of them. So that you know just created the get name set name get mother set mother. You see that they have the like the set mother has this at param mother of the mother to set. So the parameter mother is the mother to set. Uh, that, that was generated automatically. I could uh, write, you know, a little something about uh, something like sets the mother of this person to the parameter to the mother. Um, save that. So now let's say I want to generate. Javadoc for the person class. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to project. Under the project tab, uh, you see there's this generate Javadoc. Click on that. I'm going to select the classes project, which is the one I'm on right now. And uh, I just want everything. So I'm going to hit finish. It's going to generate the Javadoc. Basically, what it's doing is it's running the Javadoc program on the person.java file. And you can close this console. And you see it added this doc folder to my classes project. 
uh, if I open that folder, I can see there's a bunch of files. So all this was generated automatically. These are all HTML files. So you want to go to your index.html file. You can double click on that. And well, I have it set up to open it in the HTML editor. So let's right click and open with the web browser. So you can either open it at HTML or web. We, we only want to read it. So there's the web browser and it's showing me my class. This is now showing me the main class. I click on person. It shows me the person class. And you see it's showing me that the person class, it was created on December 4, 2011. So that is taken from here. Person created on December 4. Then author, Jose M. Vidal. Uh, that's taken from here. Author, Jose M. Vidal. Uh, this it's got put in as a tag so it doesn't show there um, so i can put html in here i can do mail to down something like that i can save that and let's say so i can then rerun i want this to appear on this person uh, not gonna appear there for now. I'm sorry, that's the main. It's not gonna appear there because I haven't run it. So I need to run Javadoc again. I'm gonna go project, generate Javadoc, and I'm gonna hit finish. It's gonna regenerate everything. And I can go back over here and reload it and uh, hit person and now we'll show author jose and Vidal with this link so you can put you know little bits of html within your comments notice that the at author it was uh, taken made into this you know bold phase tag here uh, similarly if we scroll down to this uh, the set mother method i wrote that over there sets the mother of this person uh we scroll down to set mother here and then you see it puts that right here set the mother of this person to mother and i click on that and just I click on that it just shows me that there it shows the parameters the mother mother key set which is what we set here uh, at param mother the mother key set um so that is how you generate java docs it's just you know one click uh, this generates this whole folder of HTML, and that's the folder you would give to somebody else who wants to use your class. So that is, you write a class that other people are going to use, and uh, then you can give them uh, the documentation, and they should be able to just only use this file, so only read the documentation, and be able to use all your code without looking at your code right they should be able to understand how to call all the methods in the same way that you can go to the string class and uh, and use it even though you actually do not have the source code for the string class so you don't know how compared to is implemented nor do you care uh, compared to explains to you in detail how it works so you can use it without knowing how it's actually implemented. And that is what we call data abstraction.